Hello everybody. So we are at, I don't know, Collingswood Flea Market over in, uh, where's this over? Central Jersey, I guess? Hey everybody. So we are at Collingswood Flea Market. I'm, uh, I'm shopping for, uh, things I can sell online, but I just found a bunch of old, ancient, uh, Chinese coins. This one's uh, 206 BC. This guy definitely has a really cool collection of them. And then he has the ones that are marked fake. These guys came out of this. Uh, Trying to get the ones that are readable. Was it worth it? Uh, is anything really worth it though when you put time into it? And you I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just trying to put my box together. Sorry about that. No, oh, he's got a whole box of them here. I don't know how you tell if they're real or not. Hey, 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 hey how you doing? I'm good. How much these are 15 Good morning. Hey, hey, how are you? Very good. Good. What do you get on the the pins on the sheet? Oh, they're, everything there is dollar, dollar, dollar. Okay. I'm going to grab this one. Uh, golf clubs. Uh, here's a nice sculpted watch. three pieces definitely uh definitely good i don't know she has photos and pictures and postcards for uh seven for five or a dollar each there's definitely some cool stuff in here We'll put three dollars on it and blow it out, Katie. I always like the old postcard books. Yeah, that came out of an estate in Short Hills. They were antique dealers and they closed the shop up about 30 years ago. And these were sitting in the garage. Thank God they weren't in the basement. Yep. Beach is fun. And mostly empty. Let's check this one. I looked at that one. Here's some good photo postcards. Oh, I found a couple. 
so Good for you. I'm happy. Alright, I guess that's it for right now. He's got a buffalo rug that he's sitting on. Though. I ended up uh, right when I was leaving finding a. Uh, I really like that New Year's card. I don't know why. But see if there's anything else out here. are really cool. <coughs> so is this vase. Almost looks like it could be silver. I don't see any marks though. What do you think of this? Move on again. Definitely brass color inside though. Yeah, oil or a little bit. You got one? Yeah, I got two actually. Oh, okay. <laughs> What do you get on the cow horns? Seventy-five. How much is the orange base? What? The orange base. Fifteen. This one right here. Fifteen. Fifteen? Yeah. And the flower? Can I look at it? I'll give you five on the flower. I'm gonna go look at those. Are you firm at 75 on this? Uh, I get a little better. 65 is a little better. 65? So, like so 75 with this? Yeah. Or I mean 70 with this? Yeah. yeah. All right, that sounds fair. This, um, this just slides back. Yeah, I know. I, I know how it works. Yeah. But otherwise it's good They're definitely pretty big. Yeah, I mean they're so. big, yeah. All right, thank you. I'm up to 15, so far. I've just bought some uh, cow horns and a 60s vase. Cool clam rake. These feather weights do well too. It's got the case back there. Alright. What do you get on the Palace. Um, that one's six. Six. So. Like okay. here's some pins in here. That's kind of cool. That earring's crazy. You think we should get the carousel horse? Yeah, why not? I know you don't, but... I do like those two. Butterfly was good, fine. Have you been going to Perky? Um, no. No. <laughs> I have not been to it's, it's so the cold now. I last time I saw you, weren't we buying from that one guy? Yeah, over in uh, at Berkey. What's his name? Jim or something? Well, I got cheap The 70s oh. stuff. Oh, that story kills me. Well. Yeah, I like the kind Because that guy has... He's got that connection and he won't do anything with it. Like, he doesn't have the money or the resources or the time. I don't know what it is. 
You like that one? Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's an almost. <laughs> Look at that shark. <laughs> I think we'll get those three, though. Okay. Sounds good. Big meat slicer. I think we're, uh, we're going to head back. I'm going to go try to go to a storage auction today. But pretty happy with what I got so far. No, I'm not throwing up the tap. If you hook up the actual fire hose to the giant It's got, it's threaded though, right? I think I could use this and something yeah, with the art. Do you know if it's uh, stainless or? Oh, I think that's stainless. Absolutely. Put a magnet. And, and, and how much did you say? Yeah. Ten bucks for the roll. Ten bucks for the roll? Oh, you got a magnet? Yeah, of Doesn't everybody? Yeah, I normally do, but I don't have my. You walk around here, you gotta have a tape measure, <laughs> a magnet, yeah. so at least a, two mag a magnifying glass, you do it, you do and it, you a lot of. Uh, nice. It's definitely stainless. Yeah. Yep. Uh, for ten bucks, that's a great deal. Yeah, yeah I know. We're trying to get rid of this junk. Thank you. What do you get on the? Ten dollars. Ten on that. And ten on this. Yeah. I think I'll give you the ten on this. Yeah, I've been selling. All the ones I've gotten. Thank you for stuff, whatever. Yeah. thank you for holding the big horns for me. Yeah, no problem. I'm gonna get this vase, isn't it? Nice. Oh, so you can see, you can see the leather when it was back there, whatever. It's real nice with the. Yep. Oh. They're just huge, and they're and they're not in bad condition. So. How you doing? So I made it back to the warehouse. The last thing I got was this uh, blue vase for ten dollars. It's really heavy. It's definitely a. Uh, a nice piece and it got it same place I bought the green vase for five dollars at it's uh, not broken definitely looks uh, to be 60s is my guess 60s 70s I'm not sure who makes uh, these flower vases so if anybody knows please please leave me a message um, I'm pretty sure this might be Blinko or something like that but um, I was very happy with this stainless steel wire. I think I might uh, might have a use for it. Definitely will make a great hanger though uh, for like pictures or something is kind of what I was thinking. Um, or mirrors. Uh, ended up getting a lot of smalls today. Uh, my girl picked all these cool pins. She found this sterling silver cat pin. Um, that might be uh, what's it called? Nah, it says Mexico. Uh, she got this awesome seahorse. Um, I only picked a couple pins. I got the golf clubs, the cameo. Um, really like this butterfly that we got, the carnival horse. Pins have been selling really well for me on uh, line, and they're easy to ship. That's the main reason I pick them. Uh, I did find this watch for a dollar. It is rolled gold. Um, it's an Elgin. Definitely a nice clean watch. But I think these uh, ancient coins are probably the best thing I got. Uh, I did find a couple eBay receipts from he purchased, I guess, in 2000. Uh, what was it? 2006. And he uh, got them for uh, 80 dollars a box. Um, and I did grab a couple of the fake ones to, so that way I can see what a fake coin feels like. And these, the older ones, just seem to have like they're almost paper thin. Uh, the fake ones tend to be uh, 
fair, fairly thick. So it'll be interesting how they'll do. Uh, I'll definitely try to try to list a few of these and see what happens. But I don't know. You never know what you're going to find at the flea market. We'll see everybody later. If you guys haven't yet, check out uh, Blue Bus Dave eBay. Um, real quick, the postcards I got were... That one with the little uh, well and the barn up on the top, that's pretty cool. Christmas tree and a uh, little kid in the chair. It was definitely a, definitely a good day at the market, so thank you. Peace.